Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, it has been a hot minute since the last time I've recorded. Uh, just to give you kind of like a, a guess or reason why is when I came back uh, from a trip that I took to Texas, I got sick for a while and it just kind of, not too long and not too serious, but enough where I just didn't feel like recording and then eventually I just kind of uh, lost flow and I just didn't feel like recording for the longest time. But now with the, uh, the announcement of Alan Wake 2 and it coming out actually fairly soon in the future, I decided to come back and actually, you know, play through the episodes of Alan Wake 1, which I talked about a little bit in the last playthrough that actually kind of continu uh, continues the story of Alan Wake. It kind of shows you what, what happens after the ending. Uh, and it kind of leads up to what's been happening to him in Alan Wake 2. Uh, but yeah, I mean, last time we uh, played through this at the ending, he gets stuck in the dark place, I guess you can call it. And uh, yeah, and, and so this is going to show you exactly what that means and what that looks like and what he's what he's trying to do, you know, to, to get home. So yeah, we got... So these are the episodes that we played through. That's the game, and then here's the two specials: the signal and the writer. So we'll start Previously with the on signal. Alan Wake, something I only know is the dark presence held my wife captive and used to write a horror story I'll that think. came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Alan. I saved Alice and wrote a better ending for the story. But not without a price. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. Well, yeah, this is kind of giving you it's the rundown I just gave us. But now we're going to find out what exactly Alan Wake's been up to. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Something just... Welcome to the... <laughs> was fucking right at all with that, Everything okay. Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. So yeah, as you can tell, Ooh. I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment, but something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Oh, they're kind of like fading, like here is no longer human. Nothing but fading around like ghosts, spooky ghosts. Happy Halloween. Long, Mr. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they, uh, we're brothers, don't think they sound like uh, the robot from Venture Brothers, sleep. like R Rusty, I think it yes, is. Yes, that's my favorite tune. <laughs> shut your mouth, you demented has been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. Tune number six in the jukebox. All right, I gotta set this you. for them. Here comes number six, which is that one song with lime, lime in, the, get stuck. Lime in yeah. your coke, you, you nut, or what the fuck? Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I'm dying and going to hell. Wow. Well. 
Okay. I couldn't leave. The eerie feeling of being carried along in a nightmare grew stronger. It's not allowed to leave. Okay, so we gotta go that way. Uh... Hello? Hello? I'm gonna stub my toe, and then I'm gonna go, ouch! <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's locked. Oh, I can push it. Get fucked. Can't lock doors. Oh! Alan, listen to me. Go no deeper. What? Focus. Oh. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can, but it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking stuff. about? Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. <laughs> At the sight of Smiled myself, a little bit. the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. Ooh. A flashlight, yes. That's it's a big ass flashlight. Itself, but what it represents. You will need it. Representations, yes. Oh, trunk of my hands. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Uh, that's definitely one way to put it. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. I didn't understand Goodbye. Zane's message. And knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. Horribly, horribly wrong. Anything in here? Anybody poofing? Hello? Whoa. Uh, oh, the migraines. What the hell was that? Jane has become night. The diner had become deserted. Then the door was smashed off his hinges and Wake had to fight for his life. No, no it wasn't. Back into the flow of things. Okay, so clearly we are in a very bad place. And something is happening to us physically, I guess? This is not even us physically, this is like Zane, our men. Wait men for me. It's our like psyche or something? I don't know. The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here. This is all wrong. This is not how I remember it. What is that noise? Oh. Oh. Woo. Ah. Yeah, this is zipping around. He's not actually attacking. <laughs> Like it trying to intimidate me or something. <laughs> Look at how fast I can run. Does it scare you? Okay, stop it. Oh. 
Got more batteries. Okay, he's not actually doing anything though. I don't know if I should be afraid or not. Are you gonna like low? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Run, run, run. Oh, no, I'm more ammo. Where's the guns? Where's, where's, oh! Ow. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Oh, run. Run faster. Whoa. Ooh. It's clipping at my heels. Phew. That was a close one. All right. There should be some ammo or something around here, please. Okay, more lights. I want to go... Oh, can't go upstairs. Hello? Ah, oh, manuscript page. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically. The rounds of the slippery stone was thrown away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. I had to go on. She was startled by the phone. Oh, God. <laughs> Verizon the phone. Was working. <laughs> That's fucking that. product, please. Oh, of course the Verizon wireless phone could work even in the fucking hello negative space it's just as a, a testament yes. to how powerful Verizon is and their cell phone coverage so they can travel between dimensions <laughs> that's so fucking stupid okay it made no sense for the GPS system to work I doubted any satellite was in range here these were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards so now we get the heavy duty flashlight. Get a flare gun. Some flares, very nice, powerful. And batteries. Of course, uh, do they still? I don't think they're branded. I know the. I, I'm. I think, in the original, they used to be like literally Duracell branded batteries, and they had like a <laughs> had a brand deal, just like with Verizon. I actually don't know how they got away with the Verizon thing right now. You think if like their uh, their brand deal expired, they go back and change it? So maybe the they place was still have it, or is it Verizon not a thing still. anymore? I don't know. Wanted to bury Alan him. Yeah, so we gotta follow the signal. Can we go? No, I can't go back in. Shit's uh, shit's pretty fucked right now. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, those are scary. Those do a lot of damage. Uh oh. Shotgun, very nice. Ammo. I love this bad boy. Alright, now we're doing good. That'd be good. Come on, demons. Wait. 
Oh, we didn't actually throw it, but I slowed down. Really. Wow. Everything I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Hello. 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 You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. You follow the signal. I'm trying. You must face yourself. Follow. Oh. Uh, it's happening. Signals GPS going all over the place. Supposed to lead me to Zane, but the ships were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. Oh, wait a minute. Uh... The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand had reached down and scooped it up. Everything felt erratic, unstable. Huh. Oh, no! The batteries! No! <laughs> so the bell of the fucking gorge! Oh, well. Deadly flashbangs. Uh, I think one of them may have fell. <laughs> Sarah Bricker, bright balls finest. The red hot chop. <laughs> the red hot cop chick with the lightning fast boots. Did did they be? book uh, the only girl in the book house delves deeper uh, deep into the double life of having a successful law enforcement career while being involved in a secret society how does daddy little trooper fit into an old-fashioned fraternity so yeah that's just kind of condensing the uh, characterization of some of the people we met in the in the main game Woo! Woo! Just open up. We get guns, no. Nope. Wow, demons. Oh, they're there. Uh oh. Come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, that takes a while. Birds. Oh, okay. First and foremost, like don't know why the flare took like an hour to or the uh flash thing took like an hour to explode yeah, i should be able to get this come on in Blammo. Woo! Blammo!
Stupid shadow demons. Yes. Look, I I'm trying to follow your goddamn signal. The dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. <laughs> this is stupid. You're a fucking idiot, bro. Oh, stop with the fucking migraines. Oh, oh, okay. For a second, the moon was disappearing. I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going. Always move forward, never stop. Oh. Right. Be gone, demons! Give me a raincoat killer. Okay. Let me go this way, here, or just back it up. Get down here. Memory. <laughs> it's like a ram stick. I don't see Barry. Oh. Look, wait. Maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. Something. Go look around town. Play gun, play gun. I guess shit. Oh. Oh. Alright. This game is very blinding. Oh. For a second, that was gonna bash me in my skull. Clonk my bonkers. Guns. There's a car here. Maybe this has a gun. Guns? Yes? No? Okay. We're at the church. <laughs> Jesus, the greatest light above will protect us. I had to find us. the key to get the door open. Ugh. Okay, well... Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, and then just the whole fucking truck. Holy. Okay. Let's just calm the fuck down here. Oh my God. 
Okay, let's calm down. Oh, oh. Myth the legend. Barry Wheeler, the literary agent with the constant ailment, uh, the frantic sidekick with the heretic rhetoric, hectic rhetoric, the owner of the most fashionable jacket ever made, and the author of the indispensable guide to would be agents everywhere. Blood from a rock when the goose starts gold bricking uh, presents a new collection of short fiction by Alan Wake, including. Uh, included are classic like Aaron Boy, as well as numerous mortifyingly clumsy early works buried deep in the disappeared writer's files, never intended for publication. That's not the Wheeler way. Get yours now. Okay. You know, Wheeler's just, he is his agent, but he does seem to be like a genuine friend. Just never really been solidified. If he's like just a piece of shit or not. Because he does stick by Alan like a good amount of times. Like any actual agent probably would have ditched Alan quite a long time ago. Not just because of all this crazy shit. Stupid bitch. No. 